The interim cingulate cortex neuroscientists knew was there. They didn't know what it did. It's an area that gets inputs and outputs from a lot of different brain areas, like a hub. It gets inputs from the dopamine system, serotonin system, motor system. It's like interconnected with a ton of stuff. But a colleague of mine at Stanford, Joe Parvizi, is a neurosurgeon, is operating on a patient and stimulating different brain areas and gets in and starts tickling neurons with an electrode in the anterior mid cingulate cortex. And the patient, and it turns out every patient where he does this, says, I feel like there's a storm coming at me, but I'm gonna go through it. Or I feel like something's about to happen, but I can lean into it. Okay, interesting. Moves the electrode back a few millimeters, totally different picture. Okay, so this is super interesting. The anterior mid cingulate cortex increases in size when people take on hard challenges on a consistent basis, decreases in size when they don't. It increases in size in successful dieters, exercisers, people taking on a new skill. It's maintaining size, unlike in other people, it maintains size in a group of people called super agers. It's a bit of a misnomer because what are super agers? Super agers are people that maintain cognitive ability late into life. They're constantly learning, taking on new challenges. Okay, the summary that we now have is that the anterior mid cingulate cortex is a brain area that's highly plastic, that grows, that becomes active and that can actually grow under conditions where we lean into things that we don't want to do.